MBA. People are talking about MBA again. I don't know. I think that's not for me. That's possibly the most valuable lesson I've learned and the best career advice. Did you know that you can actually save $200,000 and two years of your time and still achieve your career dreams? So today, I'm going to talk to you about why skipping an MBA might be the smartest choice you can ever make for your career. Two years ago, during the pandemic, I lost my job and one of my mentors gave the one best piece of career advice that I have ever imagined and that have set the foundations of a lot of other choices I made in my life. He told me, Lydia, no matter what you do, do not go for an MBA. I would never hire an MBA. I listened to this podcast this morning. It's the diary of the CEO, Stephen Bartlett. He has featured this guy called Josh Kaufman. He actually have a book called The Personal MBA. And his concept is there's a lot of ways you can achieve your career goal. You don't necessarily have to go down to so this academia road. And the more I listen into this episode, I haven't even finished it, but I just want to record this video right away to talk to all of my friends. Every now and then I would hear people say, oh, I think I should just go for an MBA. If somebody lost their job, they were like, I want to do an MBA. And somebody, if they are lost in their job, they also think, oh, maybe I should quit my job and do an MBA. But today, really, I want you to think it through whether that is the right choice for you. And so this is what we're gonna talk about in this video. Firstly, so myself, I've done a master degree in finance that's kind of similar to MBA, but not necessarily the same. My master degree is only a year. I didn't need to spend that much time. It's like uh, right after I graduated from college, it's also at the time that I didn't know that much about stuff. And it's very necessary for me because my whole undergraduate degree is in China. So if I don't have that degree, then I wouldn't be able to work in the way that I want to nowadays. But if you ask me like now, do I still want to go for MBA? It's another story. So I think just look at the statistics, right? Most of the Ivy League school or whatever great schools that you can ever go to starts around 200,000 for two years. Throughout my career, most of the time, every now and then there will be somebody who will come up with this, oh, I'm going for MBA. Great, if you go for Harvard or whatever, congratulations, right? That's what you want for your life. I just want people to pause a little bit and think about the cost and the return. It's not necessarily always the best choice. First. It usually costs around 150000 to 200000 to finish this two-year degree. Afterwards, you still are going to look for a job. It's not like they're going to hand you the job per se. It's just like this podcast today, it's mentioned. It's just like a very, very expensive entry ticket for your dream job. It doesn't necessarily guarantee that. Of course, if you're going into very good Los Ivy League or like let's say LBS or all of those universities, they have great MBA program. Most of the time you will get to a better place, but think about it, two years, you might be able to come up with better outcome. MBA nowadays, especially after the pandemic, can be self-learned or you just can look for all of those courses online. You don't necessarily have to pay for 200,000 just for a piece of paper. And then often all of the skills like for business is actually life skills and you actually have to be in life and in at work to understand and, and do it. So oftentimes you can maybe get the same amount of skills and experience at a fraction of cost. If you're really willing to learn, you're a curious person, yada yada yada. Then this quote says, formal education will make you live it, but self-education will make you a fortune. It's by Jim Rohn. And the second part, the real life experience Real world experience actually matters more. In the business world, 68% of the employers actually prefer candidates with a real life experience rather than just somebody with an MBA. So real life experience really matters. Like me working in banking for 10 years, I think the the first hurdle of the door will sometimes be taken off for them, but then that's just the first step. A lot of times you depend on the degree or even I would say the university doesn't matter that much. It's about whether this person can learn and adapt faster and understand how it works, how they have this ownership mindset. Some of the greatest students in university or at school, well, I've been there before. Uh, a lot of, I'm sure you know those people who are like, great at university, great at school, like straight A students might not really know the best way to work. And those are the things that we 
would not be taught at university or MBA degree as well. So real life experience really, really matters. Employers really value that more. And the third point is the best thing that happens these days are like a lot of the knowledge is no longer that expensive. Knowledge is like so accessible everywhere you look. You can go on YouTube and find out all of the courses of knowledge that you need. Or you can just go to like Coursera, they have free lessons. I remember back in the days I even did a machine learning 101 even though that's not relevant to what I do in life. That's free. All of those things, books, online courses, and join some kind of meetup groups, you will be able to meet people if you're interested in software engineer. Like go to software engineering like boot camps and stuff. There's a lot of things like that. How do you, if you want to start a company, talk to startup founders rather than just read case studies on textbook and learn about how if you start a business, experiment it with it, like get real life experience. And a lot of these doesn't require 200,000 euros or 200,000 US dollars for and two years of your life. But for example, Josh Kaufman's, I haven't read his book yet, the personal MBA, but that's already on my to read list. Maybe I'll come back with the book review episode. And if anyone has read it, please leave a comment down below as well. Like his book is a really good example of actually you can learn a lot more by just paying a little bit. Like how, how much is a book? 10 pounds? 15 pounds? So you don't really have to attend a university. You can buy reading all of those books and um, just learn about it. So next part, we're going to talk about the networking event. So a lot of people, their argument would be, yeah, but um, I don't necessarily need the knowledge. I just want to make some friends. <laughs> I, I wanted to meet my future co-founder, you know, like maybe we can start a business together. I think that's valid. But remember, you can build a network through professional life and personal life, no matter where you go, if you are genuinely curious about people and life, and if you have an idea. so. Me personally, I used to be like super shy before um, before I lost my jobs, before I started a YouTube channel, before I become fit. But everything can be learned and everything is figureoutable. Usually the people who want to go for an MBA are already type A type of person. So I think if you're already thinking that you want to go for an MBA, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out a way to build your own network, to find the ideas that you want to start a company for, and also you'll be able to meet your potential business partner somewhere. Uh, it doesn't have to go through those two years and paying those money unless I guess if your company is paying for it and then you're trying to get a new experience, caveat, if you wanted to get, get a new experience somewhere like that, only MBA can give it to you, like move to a new country and stuff like that, maybe there is a lot more um, value there. But I would argue there's also other ways you can go to a new country. You can you can straight get a job, for example. It is hard, but it's not as hard as you think if you try enough. And I believe if you can spend that much time to apply for MBA, you should be able to get a chance to move across the country and get a job. There is a possibility there, so try it. I like this quote, your network is your network by Peter Gale. Really, really great quote. So I have a lot of friends who went through MBA. I was just like, not, the caveat is nobody would say it's not worth the money. Everyone who has got a great MBA offer to study at these universities like Stanford, Harvard, or Yale, or like LBS, they are already, like Josh Kaufman mentioned in the podcast, he said, these people are already good. It's like a pre-selection. It's not like they're not good and go through the system and they become better. I will say, it's a personal choice, but for me, I think for my mentor, when he mentioned that to me, it's kind of like an extreme statement, but what he wanted to express is that there's a lot of ways that we can learn and having an MBA after several years of working experience, especially like my own case, I already have a master's degree. It doesn't really add that much value to me. In fact, I reflect to my previous several years, that's possibly the most valuable lesson I've learned and the best career advice that's unconventional as well for me. And I just wanna share with you that really has shaped the past several years in my career and how I make decisions and how I end up where I am nowadays. 
Yeah, so it, this video is not to say that MBA is not good or any anything like that. It's just that if you're considering pursuing an MBA, I want you to, to pause a little bit to think about all of the costs. That's not just the money, but also the time of two years of, and also the money that you already would be able to earn if you had you stay in one position or you're looking for a new experience to go for a new job or something. That could also give you like credibility, experience, and also confidence. It's not necessarily worse than getting an MBA degree. So it's definitely not the only path to success and it might not be the best one. Invest in the experience, seek out connections, mentors, and leverage what you have already had and built in your life and really find the time and space to look after yourself and to understand yourself, what is the best for yourself. And then go back to the consideration whether you should pursue an MBA. So that's today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, it really, really helps us to grow the channel. If you like this kind of content and if you have something to want to share with us, leave a comment down below. And I would love to learn more about your journey in your career. I hope no matter what you choose to do, you make the best decision for your career. Get your dream career going. I'll see you next time. Bye.